whatever. Don't keep but vaping, but I mean, if you it's don't have, it's like if you not have, a good habit. It's a weird habit because it. I don't think it does much for you. Well, I, I think there's really something to uh, there's something to nicotine. There's there's without a doubt there's sure. a, a cognitive benefit to nicotine that's actually been demonstrated. Like they've done some studies on nicotine, and nic nicotine also has some sort of a neuroprotective effect. Like Huberman's talked pretty extensively about nicotine, the benefits of nicotine. Yeah, but he's very very anti vape. Well, I mean, you know, with all whatever your favorite consciousness expander is, you know, I just love the ethic of personal responsibility. Like mm -hmm. you have to be responsible for yourself. You have to recognize when you have become imprisoned by the damn thing. Right. And, and I'm so good at pretending I'm not imprisoned by. Well, you're used to doing it with video games. Dude, that's what I'm talking. Exactly. Like all of these. Yeah. I don't mean to keep harping on this dumb idea that I had just had this morning is like it's these gravitational fields, mm -hmm. right? And like inevitably you become sucked in to this thing or that mm -hmm. and it produces astounding imbalance in your life. But right. the imbalance, you you can trick yourself into pretending the imbalance isn't really there. Right. And, and that's addicts were very good at that so you it's denial or whatever your ignorance so you ignore the imbalance you ignore like you don't check in with your body or you assume that your shitty feeling is normal you normalize the day-to-day -day mm -hmm. shit feeling and then to to begin to like pull things out of your environment and see how you feel when they're gone it's very hard to do because you're glued to the damn thing. You become it's a pacifier, whatever it may be. So it's like I'm lucky, man, because like I without diabetes, I'm a dad. I can't have a fucking stroke. Mm. I can't have a heart attack. Right. So that that was all I needed to like wake you the fuck up. Wake me the fuck up. Yeah, you can get trapped because it doesn't feel like it's impacting you that much every day. Every day, it's like it's not that big a deal. Yeah, I, I feel the same. Deal. I feel the same. I'm just hand another vape. Yeah, <sighs> yeah. A little bit of a buzz. Yeah. But meanwhile, you're like slowly rotting yourself. It, you could. It's just if only. Like I think with augmented reality, like if there was a way to visualize it, like if you could see like a vape anaconda that had wrapped itself around you, that was slowly tightening mm. and tightening and tightening, like the government. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't tread on me. <laughs> Literally. Um yeah man, I think that um that it's a it's a really I, but I do feel like built in I like universe as or universe's class. Like I like you know, Ram Dass would talk about this the universe is a we're in a curriculum here. Mm. And it seems like it's part of the curriculum is having these weights that we were sort of karmically yeah we're stuck when you start like waking up or whatever you want to call it or wanting a better life the first thing you notice is like where you're stuck where you're trapped yeah and then every time you just lift that up just a little bit mm -hmm. fuck you you get this sense of something well, you're feeling is freedom. Like you, you. It's like you've been in a dark room, and a window opens up for a second, and you get this little glimpse of light. Yeah. And ooh, and then you start like freeing yourself here and there, a little bit here and there, here and there, and then all of a sudden, you're in a different universe. It's right. a different reality, and I think that maybe that's built in to the thing that we're in right now is that you're supposed to have some encumbrance. You're supposed to have some stupid shit you're doing repetitively that's hurting you, not because the universe is evil, but because it's your, it's there to teach you. It's like, it's your friend in a weird way. Well, you way. need a force to act against in order to progress. Yeah, exactly. And if you really believe that we're here to create artificial life, which I kind of do, you would need these forces. You'd, you would need things that motivate you into action. Yeah, yeah. And th these are those things. That, to me, and, and, and so, you know, anytime I shift my thinking when it comes to whatever the fuck I happen to be, like, stuck in to, like, oh, this is like a trainer. Like, this thing is your coach. It's, it's your guru. You want to talk about the real guru. 
It's your fucking vape addiction. It's your over drinking. It's like that thing is teaching you better than any book or any person mm. could. It's in the moment demonstrating to you all the mystical truths, which is, you know, you're stuck in a, it's called samsara. You're stuck in this loop of suffering, this endless loop of suffering that you are imposing on yourself. You know, mm. you know that C.S. Lewis quote? The gates of hell are locked from the inside. Like, Ooh. isn't that great? Anytime you Ooh. want out, you can get the fuck out. Ooh, that's a good one. It's a 